In today's video, I'll be comparing the brand new Volcanic Titan versus every previous godly to see how good it is on endless mode in toilet tower defense. I've done a video in the past similar to this one where I tested the Aqua Titan speed command against every godly, and it literally got second to last. So I'll be doing the same, but for this new unit, and hopefully it does a lot better. But make sure you watch until the end because I'll be showing you guys the final leaderboard which will rank every godly in the game. But before we begin, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so we can hit 200,000 subs before the end of the year. We are literally so close to that goal right now. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And also, I do have a clan and like I advertised in the video earlier today. We literally have over 60 members, all of which have tons of gems and OP units. Right now, you have to have all six of these units right here, as well as rank 11 or higher. So if you meet those requirements, the link to the claim will be in the description. But you can still join even if you don't meet the requirements, because we may change or lower them in the future. But yeah, enough about clans. Let me equip the Santa TV man right now, and obviously the Volcanic Titan, as well as a starter unit, so a Mewing TV. And let's test to see how far we can get with it on Endless Mode. Here we go. So yeah, for all of the units that we'll be using in this video, we'll be fully auto-skipping the entire time. And another rule for this challenge is that I have to place a Mewing TV down in the start, but once I have at least one of the units maxed out, then I can sell it. So yeah guys, I'll just honestly see you guys once we place down the Volcanic Titan. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit. And finally, as soon as this skips one more time, we can max out our last Santa, and then we can finally place the Volcanic Titan. So there we go. Since it does only have 30 range when maxed out, I think we'll place it right around here as soon as we get enough money. So there we go, perfect. Already on level 1, it's doing 36,000 damage every 3 seconds, and has 20 range. But now we can already upgrade it to level 2, and now it does 60,000 damage and it has 25 range. And once it skips one more time, we'll be able to get it to level 3. So there we go, perfect. We're honestly hard chilling right now, bro, I'm not even gonna lie. We still have two more upgrades to go until it's fully maxed out, but we're honestly keeping up with everything super well. So yeah, as soon as it skips one more time, we'll be able to get it to level 4 finally. So there we go. We still have one more upgrade to go until it has 300,000 damage every 3 seconds. But I can't tell if it actually got nerfed. I don't know if you guys saw my video yesterday, but this volcano right here used to have only 10,000 health. But on the final upgrade, it used to have a million. So I'm wondering if it still has a million or else, it, or else it's decreased now. And also, what the heck, I'm really inside the volcano, that's funny. Anyway, yeah, in about two waves, we will be able to finally max it out. So there we go, perfect. And dang, yeah, it only has 240,000 health now. That definitely kind of sucks. Either way, when maxed out, it does 300,000 damage, has 30 range, and then a 3 second cooldown. Now it is definitely time to place a second one down right here, and start upgrading this one next. And then obviously it is time to sell our Mewing TV or else that would be cheating still. But there's level 2, and 3, and here we actually go against the wave 30 boss, the Flying Buzzsaw Toilet, and yeah, we already got it. I'm pretty sure these volcanoes literally instantly suck up any toilet, which is crazy. Like it barely does, like it basically does an infinite amount of damage to it. But yeah, there's it as level 4. But finally, as soon as we kill about 2 or so toilets, we will be able to max out the final one. In fact, yeah, once this welder dies, we will be able to max it out. So yeah, perfect. Now we have two in total maxed out. So obviously it is time to place the third one down right about here and level it up. So there's level two and three. And here we actually go against the wave 40 boss. Well, as soon as it skips, so we'll be on wave 40. And then we just have to wait for it to spawn in. So yeah, any second now it will spawn in. And yeah, there it is right there. The glitch toy with 1.5 million health on it. This guy is super healthy, so I'm kind of worried that we are gonna lose soon. I am not gonna lie. But yeah, here we go. Right then and there, and in three, two, one, and we killed it just like that. That was actually surprisingly easy, I'm not gonna lie. But there we go, now we have the volcanic titan as level four. But toilets are definitely starting to get a lot farther now. He may just die in the next few waves already, which is crazy. So yeah, we are probably dead here. There's really not much I can do about it other than obviously using the erupt button. So let's just use it right now and instantly take out literally everything. Well, we didn't take out everything, but we got everything super low. In fact, I'm pretty sure it does around 1.3 million damage when it does that attack, which is crazy. 
But yeah, there's really no way we live all of this, unfortunately. We are just so dead in a second. We should be able to max out our third one, but it's probably not going to be enough. Also, I'm inside the volcano. What the heck? I'm literally stuck in here, bro. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, hell no. Okay, wait. I got out, but I only got out because this laser scientist where they got on past. So yeah, we are officially dead here. We didn't even make it to wave 50, which is super depressing. I guess before we lose, we can place one more final one over this way and try to upgrade it a few times. So yeah, we were able to get it to level 4, but it is GG's no matter what. There's really no way we live any of this. But wait, hold up. We're actually somehow still alive just barely. I might have had to sell all three of my Santas, but uh, yeah. Either way, we are dead in 3, 2, 1, and GG's. Yeah, only wave 41. That was trash. On to our next godly though. Here we go. I'll have my editor put a picture up on screen of the current leaderboard. And obviously the volcanic titan is number one with 41 waves right now. But that'll change very soon with the next godly. And I honestly think we're just going to work our way up from the oldest godlies to the newest ones. And also, no, I'm not counting the one that just came out in the summon units area. This one right here. I'm not counting this one mainly because it just came out. And I'd rather save it for another video. But yeah, like I was saying, we do obviously have the upgraded Titan Cinema Man as our next godly. So without any more waiting, let's use this in game right now. Here we go. And just like last round, I'll see you once our farms are fully maxed out. So yeah, see you guys by wave 18. And actually, it turned out to be wave 19, but yeah, there we go. All of them are officially fully maxed out. Now it is definitely time to place an upgraded Titan Cinema Man right about here. So let's place it and start upgrading it right away. And again, once it's fully maxed out, then we'll definitely sell our Mui TV right here. But there's level 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7. And finally, as soon as it skips one more time, we can fully max it out. Win max out of this 14,200 damage, at 65 range, a 0.2 cooldown, and 5 stun time. Meaning whenever it's in the black circle, it can literally stun to us for 5 seconds at a time. But yeah, now it is definitely time to place and max a ton more. Let me place another one right here for now, sell the mewing TV, and start upgrading it right away. And we actually just got the wave 30 boss as well, let's go! But there's the second one to level 5, and 6, and 7, and finally, once we kill one more toilet, we can fully max out our second one. And now we're actually two waves away from wave 40, so yeah, we're actually doing pretty solid right now. We are definitely on track to do better than the last godly, which only got to wave 41. We'll have to see though. So yeah, here we go against the wave 40 boss, and we've already gotten it to half health, 40%, 30, 20, 10, and yeah, just like that we already killed it. Way too easy again. Oh yeah, there's three maxed out now. Obviously, toilets are starting to make it a lot farther now, and we may just be dead in the next few waves, to be honest. We'll have to see, though. We're just barely hanging on now. We'll place our fourth one down right here and start upgrading it right away. But yeah, I think we are officially dead here. There's really not much we can do about it, as they are just getting further and further now. So yeah, GG's. Hopefully, this counts as past wave 41, but we'll have to see, I guess. For now though, I am going to try to max out this one instead of this one over here. That way hopefully they can snipe all of these ones over here that are super low. And maybe, just maybe, we can get them too. In fact, yeah, I think I am going to delete that other one just to upgrade this twice more. So yeah, we are able to get the front one, but yeah, we're dead to this flashlight rocket toilet. GG's though, we actually made it pretty far, I'm not going to lie. I'll take it for sure. And yeah, wave 43, so this is slightly better. Not too bad at all. So yeah, that officially does put the upgraded Titan Cinema Man at number 1 with 43 waves. And then obviously the Volcanic Titan at 41 waves in 2nd place. So already it's in 2nd and it's already behind everything else. But yeah, next up on the list we obviously do have another godly which is the Titan Present Man. And this released a few months after the upgraded Titan Cinema Man did. So yeah, we already have it equipped but let's just use it in game. Here we go. And yes, we'll be fully auto-skipping once again. And again, I'll see you guys by wave 19. And there we go, we have all of our sentences fully maxed out now. And obviously, it is time to place and max a Titan present, man. I think we'll place it right about here for now. And yes, I will be maxing it out. Not just placing a ton of them. But yeah, fully maxing it out before we delete our sin- But yeah, fully maxing it out before we delete our mewing TV. 
It does cost $40,000 to fully max it out, though. So I guess I'll just see you guys then. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I probably will have to max out our Mewing TV real quick. That way we can still afford to place and max our Titan present, man. So yeah, finally, once we kill a few more toilets, we'll be able to max out our Titan present, man. So there we go. Perfect. When max out, it does 9,975 damage, has 40 range, and then a 0.25 cooldown. Before I sell my Mewing TV, I am gonna wait for this dual blade toilet to die, and then we'll sell it. But yeah, for now, I'm just gonna keep a ton of these time pants as level one, and then I'll max it, and then I'll max these out one by one. But yeah, there's all of them placed, and now let's just get them all to level two. So there's three as level two. 5 is level 2, 10 is level 2, and finally, once it skips one more time, we'll have all of them as level 2. So there we go, perfect. Now it is definitely time to place and max another one of these guys, so we'll probably max out this one right here. We do have to save $40,000 to place and max it though, so it is definitely gonna be a while before we're able to do that. Either way though, we are officially on wave 41, meaning if we beat this wave, this is officially better than the brand new godly. But yeah, there it is right there, the glitch toilet. Let's see if we're able to take it out, even though I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to. Unless it starts going max speed and then we're cooked. Oh wait, no, it's going max speed, oh no. Okay, wait, never mind. It's actually uh, right now in three, two, one, and wait, no, 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 no. Okay, wait, I think we got it, let's go. Yeah, we got super lucky. There was like three golden presents that spawned in probably. Very lucky for sure. But yeah, once it skips about twice more, we will be able to max out our second one. So this is honestly looking pretty solid right now. So yeah, about one more skip and then we'll be able to max it out. As long as these UFO toilets don't end up getting by, we'll be fine to skip. But bro, of course they had to get on by. Are you kidding me? Bro, there's literally nothing we can do about that. I mean, at least we were able to max up one more, I guess. But yeah, we are officially dead. There's literally nothing else we can do about it. So yeah. I'm excited to see what wave this counts as though, I guess. My guess is either 42 or maybe even 41. We'll find out in 3, 2, 1, and wave 38, dang. Okay, well this is officially in dead last. That does officially put the cinema at number 1 with 43 waves, the volcanic time at 41 waves at number 2, and now I guess the present at last place with only 38 waves. So that is 3 out of the 8 godlies that I'll be testing in this video. But next up we jump about 5 months in time up to our next godly, which is obviously the Mech Bunny Titan. While this one was released during Christmas, this one was released all the way in April. I'm not really going to talk about it too much, but let's just use it in game. Here we go. But yeah, I'll just see you guys once we finally place it down as well. And finally, as soon as it skips one more time, we can finally max out our last Santa. So there we go. Now I think I'm going to place a Mech Bunny Titan right about here as soon as we get enough. And then we'll work on maxing out as soon as possible. So yeah, let's place it. And already we can get it to level 2. So let's do exactly that. As soon as this skips again though, we can get it to level 3, so there we go. We actually do get a cooldown boost in about 5 seconds if I want to use it, so I think I'll use it once the Mutant Toilet 2.0 is in range of it. Right about now. As soon as this skips again though, we can upgrade it to level 4, so that'll help a ton as well. Hopefully we're fine though, we may just lose in a second or two. It'll definitely be close if we live this, I guess. But yeah, it looks like we're just barely fine. Now we have to save for $25,000. So I'll just see you guys once we have that amount. And finally, as soon as it skips one more time, we can fully max out our Mech Bunny Titan. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this unit is pretty mediocre. It's really not that great. But yeah, there we go, we officially fully maxed it out. When max it, it does 12,200 damage, has 45 range, a 0.2 cooldown, and then obviously this ability right here. On the ability, it actually gives all units that are in the yellow circle a 25% less cooldown for 20 seconds. So it's actually pretty helpful. Either way though, we'll place another one down right here and start maxing out this one next. So there's level 3, and there's level 4. We just made it to wave 30 duo with the wave 30 boss, and any second now it should spawn in, so there it is. Hopefully we can max this guy out in time, but we may just end up losing to this because of how much health it has. We'll have to see though. But yeah, it's definitely starting to take a lot of damage now, and actually, yeah, we're gonna be able to get in right about now. Not too bad at all. In fact, in about one or so waves, we should be able to upgrade this guy to max level 2. So yeah, any second now, we should be able to upgrade it, in fact, right about now. 
So there's two maxed out. Now I think we'll place a third one right about here and try to max out this before we lose. I definitely do not expect to get too far with this unit, unfortunately. It's just really not that great of one. Either way though, we do have our rabid rabbit ability back, so we might as well just use it right away. And also, I just realized we actually can use multiple at once. That's actually super helpful for sure. In fact, yeah, we might as well just use another one right away as well. But there's another mech bunny tied into level 4, and there's our third one fully maxed out. Obviously, we just did make it to wave 40, with the glitch toilet being the next boss we have to take on. We'll place one more mech bunny tie right here, and now we have to face it. This time it has 1.5 million health on it, so yeah, it's definitely starting to increase a ton. Either way though, I'm not super worried at all, because I mean, it's just a glitch. What's the worst that could happen? So yeah, we're absolutely shredding through it. In fact, it's already dead in 3, 2, 1, and we got it. Let's go. Now I'll just see you guys once this one's fully maxed out. And wait, hold up, we actually might be dead before then. We're low-key getting cooked right now, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it looks like we're just barely fine as well, but I think we may be dead in the next few waves. We'll have to see, I guess, but yeah, there's no way we do 900,000 damage to all of this. So, uh, yeah, GG's. Hopefully we can max out our fourth one, but even then, I don't think we're gonna be able to. We may just end up losing before then. We'll see, I guess. And actually, never mind. It does look like we were just barely able to max it out before we lost. But yeah, we finally lose in 3, 2, 1, and yeah, G, G. Wave 40, though. Not horrible, but definitely not close to the best yet. So that does officially put the cinema at still number 1, the volcanic titan at number 2, the bunny at number 3, and still the present man in dead last. Either way though, these next few godlies is definitely when it starts getting very OP. Obviously, next up we do have the Chief Clockman. And I mean, this guy's just extremely overpowered. There's really nothing much to say about it. This is literally gonna sweep any other unit we've used so far in this video for sure. But yeah, I won't keep you guys waiting for much longer, here we go. And don't worry, just like always, I'll just see you guys once we place it down in a little bit. And there we go, we already have all of our Santas maxed out. So now it's time to place and max the Chief Clockman directly in the center. So right about here. And we can already get it to level 2 and 3. Obviously, once it's fully maxed out, then I'll sell my Mewing TV. But until then, we'll just focus on maxing this out. And there's level 4 and 5. And finally, as soon as this skips one more time, we can fully max it out. So there we go. Perfect. When maxed out, it does 15,000 damage, has 60 range, a 0.5 cooldown, boost range by 15%, and has ally health with 500,000 each. So yeah, definitely time to sell my Mewing TV. That way we can place and max a ton of these cheap Glockman down. So there's 3 placed, 5 placed, 10 placed, 15, and finally all 19 that we can place for now. So yeah, honestly, I think we're just gonna do a giant time lapse of me maxing out the rest of these. Because I haven't really done the one of those in a minute. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the time lapse. And there we go, we finally have 10 maxed out in total. We actually just made it to with the wave 70 boss with the giant turkey toilet. So let's see if we can take it out for sure. But honestly, we're pretty much hard chilling right now. We're almost double the waves of the number one one right now, which was 43. Meaning if we get 86 waves this game, the Chief Clockman will be literally way more than double as good as any other godly so far. But yeah, now the giant turkey's at 12 million health, 11 million, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and finally in 3, 2, 1, and we got it. Let's go. It definitely took a while, but at least we got it pretty quickly. Plus, I mean, everything else is pretty low already, so we'll be fine for now. I'll just see you guys once we're done with this second row, or we make it to wave 80. And there we go. We actually just made it to wave 80, and we still have about two more to max out. This third one right here is level 5, but uh, yeah, I'm just counting that as a maxed out one. Because, I mean, once it spawns in, it'll already be wave 81, and then we'll be able to upgrade it to max level. Yeah, there we go. Any second now, it will spawn in, though, so yeah, there it is. Right there. 
the dual cargo toilet with 6.2 million health on it. But yeah, it's going to be super easy to get. I'm not even going to lie. I am not worried that we're not going to be able to get it at all. Toilets are definitely starting to make it a little bit further than normal, though. I'm not going to lie. We may just end up losing in the next few waves. We'll see, I guess. In the meantime, though, I am definitely going to continue trying to max out both of these ones. But yeah, there's the two glitch toilets right there from the dual cargo toilet boss. And yeah, there goes the first one and the second one. Now I'll just see you guys on wave 90. But yeah, once we kill a few more toilets, we will be able to finally max out this next row. So there we go. We only have four left in this row until we're fully maxed out. Other than our Santas, of course. But yeah, we may end up losing in the next few minutes. I'm not gonna lie. I keep on saying that, bro. I don't even know what else to say. But yeah, there goes the first few toilets. We should still be able to kill them, even though they're getting passed. Because obviously, we do reach all the way around this corner over this way and over here as well. But yeah, the stupid turkey toilets are ruining my game right now. But yeah, we just made it to wave 90. Let's go. And we just maxed out another one, so we only have three left to go as well. But yeah, there's the broken heart toilet with 85 million health on it. I will end up rewinding this helmet boss toilet if it lives past this range over this way. But I think we'll be able to get it. Actually, it doesn't look like we will, so I guess I do have to rewind it, I guess. Definitely lame, because we will end up losing now, but whatever. This is still number one by far. So yeah, we're probably dead in 3, 2, 1, and GG's. Wave 89 though, that is actually so impressive for sure. Obviously, that does officially put the Chief Clockman at number 1 with 89 waves. The Cinema drops to number 2 with 43 waves. The Volcanic is in 3rd with 41 waves. The Bunny is in 4th with 40 waves. And finally, the Titan Presman is in dead last with only 38 waves. On to number 6 out of 8 units though. Obviously, right after the cheap Clockman release, we do have the Golden Future Large Clockman. And yeah, this is obviously going to be the number one unit on this video. I'll just show you right now. Auto Skip is officially on. And yeah, see you guys always by Wave 19. And there's all of them officially maxed out. And now we can actually place the Golden Future Large Clockman directly in the center right about here. And once the Wave 20 boss spawns in, I actually do think I'm going to time stop as well. Just to automatically, literally clear out everything on the map. Watching 3, 2, 1, and there goes everything. Easy. Now we just gotta wait for this to rotate, and then we'll continue placing again. So there's 2 placed, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, and finally there's all of them that we can place down for now. Obviously now it's time to max out each of these one by one, so we might as well just start with this one in the front. So there's level 2, and 3, and 4, and finally there it is, fully maxed out. When maxed out, it's doing 115,000 damage, has the 100 range, a 1 second cooldown, and can slow toilets by 60%. And obviously, now it's time to max out the rest of these, starting with this next one right here. So there's level 2, 3, and 4, and finally there it is, fully maxed out again. And now let's work on this third one right here. So there's three maxed out, and finally there's five maxed out. We actually just made it to wave 50 with the giant smooth toilet boss. So let's see if we can obviously take it out. In fact, yeah, we're gonna get in three, two, one, and yeah, there it goes. We only have one more to max out in this row, and then we're done with this entire row in the front. Then we'll just have the second and third row, obviously. And then we'll be able to sell our Santas to place the final three down, and then we'll be done. So there's it as level 4. So there we go. Finally, we have this entire row maxed out. Now we just have 13 more to max out. And now we have 12 left. We are actually about to make it to wave 60 now with the wave 60 boss. So I'll just see you guys once it spawns in. So yeah, now we're on wave 60 and any second now it should spawn in. And yeah, there it is right there. It does obviously have 12.9 million health on it. But honestly, I am not worried at all. We should still be able to clear through it, no problem. In fact, yeah, in 3, 2, 1, and just like that, we already got it. Let's go. But now we have 11 minutes. But now we have 11 left to max out and 10 left to go. And now we actually just made it to wave 70. It should spawn in after we are able to upgrade another Golden Future Large Clockman to max level. So yeah, any second now it will skip. And there we go. Now we have 9 left to go. 
And there is actually the giant turkey toilet boss again with 22.7 million health on it. And right now this is definitely set to be in first place. We only have about 20 waves or so until this is officially number one. Plus these can't even get stunned from the giant turkey toilet either, making this godly just way better for sure. But yeah, now it's down to 18 million, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and yeah, just like that, we already got it. Way too easy, bro. This game needs to give me a challenge, bro. This is just way too easy. But yeah, there's another one maxed out. We only have two more left in this row to max out, and my guess is that we'll probably be able to do that before wave 80. We'll see, though. And yeah, now we have one left to max out, but we are only... And yeah, now we only have one left to max out, but we are only two waves away from wave 80. So it's now looking like we are going to be able to get both maxed out in time. Yeah, unfortunately, it does look like we are going to be one upgrade away before we get to wave 80. Not too bad at all, though. But yeah, now we just made it to wave 80, and any second now, the wave 80 boss should spawn in. So, uh, yeah, there it is. 6.2 million health once again, but either way, we should easily be able to take it out. Yeah, it's already down to 4 million, 2 million, 1 million, and yeah, there we go. There's two glitches, both with 6 million health, but I am not worried whatsoever. In fact, yeah, there's one left, and yeah, and we got both. We are already done with the second row now, and the only that's left is this row right here. We have six in this row, so let's start with this one and work our way down. And now we have five left to go, and four left to max out, and now we're on the exact wave that we lost to on the Chief Clockman round. So theoretically, if we kill everything that's spawned in and right now, we will be the better one right now. We'll have to see if that happens or not. But yeah, there's just tons of toilets spawning in, so it's definitely going to be close if we are able to or not. Plus, there's just tons of toilets getting further and further every single wave. And in fact, I think we may end up time stopping soon. Not quite yet, but maybe eventually. But yeah, the Broken Heart Toilet should spawn in any second now. In fact, yeah, there it is right there. 85 million health on it. So let's see if we're able to take it out or not. But now we have three left to max out, and finally the Broken Heart is getting very close to being in the front. So it will start taking a lot of damage right about now. So now it's below 70 million, 60 million, 50 million, 40, 30, 20, 10, and finally in 3, 2, 1, we beat the boss. Let's go. But now we only have two left to max out. And I'm pretty sure this is officially the new best one already. So that is a very big W for sure. And now we have one left to go. And bro, we are hard cooking right now. We're practically spawned still, even by wave 99. And now we just made it to wave 100. Let's go. And there it is right there, the DJ Toilet 2.0. It does have a whopping 114.8 million health on it. But finally, we are able to fully max ourselves out. I do think I am going to actually time stop as well, just to hopefully clear out everything. And yeah, I'm gonna be honest, that really did not help at all. There's still just tons of tickets, there's still just tons of toilets that are incoming, all of which have a lot of health on them still. So yeah, we are probably dead in the next wave or so. Unfortunately, these toilets just keep on making it further and further, and there's really not much we can do about it. I mean, we don't even get our time stop back for another 100 or plus seconds. So yeah, we're finally dead in 3, 2, 1, and yeah, GG's, we died to a glitch to it late. A wave 99, this is officially the new best by far. So here is the updated leaderboard. We have the Golden Future Large Clockman at number 1 with 99 waves, the Chief Clockman at number 2 with 89 waves, the Titan Cinema Man at 43 waves, the Volcanic Titan at 41 waves, the Mech Bunny Titan at 40 waves, and finally the Titan Present Man at dead last with only 38 waves. We still have two godly to test in total, one being the Titan Firework Man, and then the other being the Aqua Titan Speaker Man. So yeah, let's unequip the Golden Future Large Clockman and re-equip the Titan Firework Man. And let's officially see how far on Endless Mode we can get with it. Here we go. And actually, last time I completely forgot to test this unit out. So yeah, let's definitely test it this run for sure. But like every other run, I'll just see you guys by wave 19. And there we go, we finally have all of our Santas maxed out typically by wave 19 once again. 
obviously now we do have to place the Titan Firework Man, so we'll place it right about here. Already on level 1 is doing 5,000 damage, has 25 range, a 2 second cooldown, and 8 explosion radius. Once it skips it again though, we will be able to upgrade it to level 2, so let's do exactly that. But there it is as level 3 now, and there it is as level 4. But yeah, finally once we kill a few more toilets, we will be able to max it out. So perfect. When max out it does 90,000 damage, has 60 range, a 1 second cooldown, and then 20 explosion radius as well. So yeah, this unit is definitely very good for sure. We'll max out a second and a third one right behind it. But actually, yeah, let me just place a ton of these guys down and then we'll focus on maxing them all out. So there's just a total of 10 of them placed. And now it's time to max them all out one by one. So there's two maxed out and three maxed out. And now we actually just made it to wave 50. And we also just maxed out our fourth one. Now we'll max out the final one in this row. But there it is right there, the giant smooth toilet. This is already the third best one so far, so I'll definitely take it for sure. In fact, yeah, we're gonna get it in three, two, one, and yeah, there it goes. Nice. And hold up, we actually may lose in the next wave or so. There's just tons of toilets making it further and further every single wave. But luckily, if we get about a thousand more dollars, we will be able to upgrade this last Titan Firework Man to max level. So hopefully we can do that before we lose, I guess. And there we go, we were able to do exactly that. Now we'll start maxing out this one right here, but unfortunately it does look like it is too late. We are just dead no matter what. There's really nothing that can reach over on this side over this way. Well, actually, never mind. They can, but it's not much. So I do not think it's gonna be enough. So yeah, we are dead in three, two, one. And wait, hold up, we actually may clutch out of this, no way. It's gonna be close, cause this guy's super low, and dang, it's gonna get- Oh wait, never mind, we actually did get it, nice. And all these ones are pretty low as well, so we should be able to get these too. We'll have to see though. I mean, there's only one left, and dang, it's gonna get by just barely. And even if this doesn't one-shot us, all of these will for sure, so yeah, GG's. Wave 53 though, let's write it down in the leaderboard, here we go. So that does still keep the Golden Future at number 1, the Chief at number 2, the Firework officially is number 3 now, the Cinema drops to number 4, the Volcanic Titan drops to number 5, the Mech Buddy Titan is number 6, and now the Titan Present Man is still in dead last with only 38 waves. But finally, we do have what we tested last time, which is obviously the Aqua Titan Speaker Man. And it still doesn't even have 10,000 existing, which is crazy to me. Like, this already has more than this one. Either way, though, let's see how far we can get with it. Here we go. This is obviously the last time I'll be showing you guys this. So, yeah, see you guys by wave 19 as always. And this is officially the last time I'll be saying this, but as soon as it skips one more time, we can max out our last Santa. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, obviously, it is time to place our Aquatine Speaker Man down, so we'll place it exactly right here as soon as it skips. So there we go, perfect. All that's left to do now is max out this guy one by one. So there's level two, and level three, and level four, and bro, wait, no way we're already dead. That is crazy. We haven't even been able to max this guy out and we're probably already gonna lose. So yeah, I guess the new godly isn't quite as bad as this old one. Still, bro, that is awful. But I mean, I guess at least we were able to max it out before we lost. Wind Max does 28,000 damage, has 80 range, and a 0.2 cooldown. But yeah, we are definitely dead in a second or two. There's literally no way we live all of this. So yeah, we lose in 3, 2, 1, and yeah, GG's. Bro, only wave 25, that is so garbage. And it's so bad that it doesn't even fit the leaderboard anymore. But yeah, here's the final leaderboard with the Golden Future at number 1, and then the Volcanic is actually number 4. Oh sorry, not number 4, number 5. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, that pretty much decides it that the new Godly is pretty mid. But uh, yeah, watch another video while you're at it. And yeah, peace out everybody.